Hello class, I'm creating this video to answer a few more problems from your first test. Uh, so it says, what does it mean when sampling is done without replacement? So I believe that's once an individual is selected, the individual cannot be selected again. Let's check our answer. Good job. Number six, to estimate the percentage of defects in a recent manufacturing batch, Quality Control Manager uh, selects every 10th car that comes off the assembly line, starting with the 6th until she obtains a sample of 130 cars. Um, what type of sampling is this? I'd call this uh, systematic sampling. Let me get the correct. Let's keep it moving. Number seven. Uh, an internet site asks its members to call in their opinion regarding their Reluctance to provide credit card information online. I'm going to go with convenience. Okay, we get the good job there. Okay, so for number eight, uh, so it looks like we have a graph and there's, uh, it says a sample of adults in a certain country were asked uh, if a certain action was morally wrong in general. Uh, so this tells you the percentage of people that thought the action was morally acceptable, morally wrong, or depends on the situation. <clears throat> so it says, what percentage of the respondents believe the action is morally acceptable? So this looks like 40, 50, 60, 70, 70%, 70 right? So that was morally acceptable. Next question. We're looking at morally wrong. So if there's 264 million adults and we know 20% think that the action's morally wrong, you would do 264, that's in millions, times 0 0.20, and we get 52.8, so that's 52.8 million. So I'll round that up to 53 million adults think that the action would be morally wrong. And now it says, all right, a polling organization claimed that the results of the survey indicate that 9% of the adults in the country believe that the action is acceptable in certain situations. Oh, okay, so it depends on the situation. Would you say this statement is descriptive or inferential and why? So I'm going to say it's inferential because it makes a prediction, right? We're going to use this basically to make a prediction knowing that the population is 264 million adults, um, right? We're going to infer, we're going to make a prediction. Check answer. Hey, and we got the 100%. Thank you for watching.